sorry my alarm went off um so yeah i was talking about the weighted materials and stuff adding to babies but anyway you may add additional things not only that when you send a baby to ebay they charge ebay fees and then you have paypal fees on the top of those fees you're losing about probably about 14 percent right off top so um yeah so sometimes it may seem like the baby is higher but the seller is not really getting all that money um so you know those are some of the things that you have to know about when you're selling and also i suggest that when you sell a baby that you put it up um you raise it up and you know sometimes if you don't mind losing money on a baby that's fine you know i've done that i've done that several times and um and i you know i'm perfectly okay with it but for the most part i don't plan to just keep throwing away my money so <clears throat> it's one of the reasons why i am trying to very very hard not to buy babies that i am not going to keep um in the future because sometimes you do take that risk and it's hard to you know resell a baby you know um so i'm really really trying to focus this year on only purchasing babies that i truly intend on keeping as i am really really serious about it trying to stop my collecting and just concentrate on the babies that i have once i obtain particular babies that i'm going after and i am aggressively going after particular babies because i am trying to close out my um my collection he looks so light there but in person he has a lot more color than that um it's kind of crazy um anyway he has a like a caramel not a caramel caramel but yeah he's yeah he's not as light as he show but anyway nevertheless um yeah so yeah, so I just wanted to break that down um, for people as I know that that is something that is discussed quite, is discussed quite often is, um, you know, buying babies and stuff. Um, also, you know, a lot of times selling is about the scope sometimes, you know, what's popular, what's this, but for me, I am into the limited edition sculpts, like I said before. I am into sold out editions sculpts. And the reason being is because they just are just more realistic for the most part, usually. Because they are, you know, it, the, the Reborns have just gotten more real and more real. Just like the silicone babies. I mean, you practically are getting a real baby. Um... Let me see. I'll show you guys like Chase. <laughs> With Chase, and he's such a realistic baby. And you know what? If if he don't sell, I won't be mad. If you can see he has modeling and veining and his feet has the wrinkles and the dents and it's just very a very detailed skull. Look at him. <laughs> Yeah, good, good. Um, even his eyes are very, very realistic and very, very cute. It makes me kind of go, eh, really, do I really want to sell him? He is really, really gorgeous. Um, but, you know, I want another baby. I don't want to do it um, out of my pocket and that's what happened like his little legs it's very very realistically sculpt um marita one of babies anybody that has one of her babies know that she her babies are very well sculpted they are very well sculpted that's the same maker of baby serenity um so they really look very realistic just the sculpt itself and to have someone that paints really well with them definitely so, yeah, um, so that is, that is, um, 
what I do. I I try to find the most realistic, nice sculpt and then match it with the painting and the rooting if it has rooting. And that way I know that if I ever have to um sell that baby, I'm not at a loss. Yeah, I'm not at I'm not at a loss. And if I am at a loss, it's not that big of a loss. Um, in which I'm okay with taking a little bit of a loss sometime. Um, but, yeah, it's, it's definitely um, something people need to consider is that this is, this is, they are collectible items. And a lot of times, like if you collect stamps or comic books or anything like that, the value of those things actually increase. They, they um, don't depreciate over time. So... If they're well kept and well maintained. So that is basically all that I want to say. And when I buy a baby, I don't question people, you know, too. I don't question, you know, who's selling what and for what. You know, I think that's a matter of respect. You know, if it's not your baby, if you think it's too much, then don't buy it. You know, just keep moving. If you think it's in your price range, then go for it if it's what you want. Etc. Etc. I don't focus a whole lot on what other people are doing with their collection um, because it's really, honestly, not my business, not my money. So it don't affect me either way. So that's you know a whole nother respect on a whole nother level. I think the community has gotten away from respecting each other's opinions and views and just respecting each other. Period. You know, it's so much. You know. So many people making like fake accounts, going making rude comments and disliking videos and, you know, you know, making um, subliminal messages on Facebook, you know, posts, you know, saying whatever, whatever, talking about this collector and that collector, collector or that's this artist and that collector. And, you know, I think it's very unprofessional for an artist to talk about another artist, you know, unless I don't know. It's certain circumstances, I get it, but um, the same with collectors, you know, I'm not going to go on Facebook and blast another collector just just to do it for fun, you know what I mean? Like, um, if I want to warn someone about somebody, I probably would do it in private, but there has been times, well, not really, very rarely, um... I know I had an incident where I had to speak up publicly about a certain situation and that was because of about an artist and that was because my name was thrown in the mix and that was going to give off a false assumption with other people thinking that I stood by this artist's work and I didn't and I don't I mean I don't um, and it's not to say that I don't like I, I had to state that it's not that I don't like that artist or I don't like their work. It's just that I didn't, I'm not a supporter, so to say, speak. You know, I can't say, oh, yeah, that's good. I've never had any issues, et cetera, et cetera. But someone had put my name in the mix of, like, I was backing them, and I, I, I had to clear that up. Otherwise, I would not um, speak badly on them um, or any artist. I try not to. Um, I do have my opinions on you know, which artists I like and which artists I think is worth the money to me. But that's just an opinion and I'm entitled to that and um, that's what I do. I don't, um, I think a lot of people, majority of the people that follow my channel come to my channel because they want to hear the truth of my truth, of my opinion. My opinion may not be totally 100% facts, it's based off of my knowledge, my research, and my beliefs and et cetera, et cetera. But a lot of people that have came to my channel from the beginning came because I've always been honest about what I thought and um, what I learned along the way. Because when I first came into the community, the person that had kind of showed me around was very honest and very direct. And I really admired that person's style and the way that they did things and it wasn't that I was trying to mimic that person or copy them or any type of way but you know when a person teach you something you kind of learn from that and you kind of go from there and then 
it's already my personality to be very direct and open. So it that was my thing. Um, so it just helped me. And that's why, because they helped me like that, I like to try to help other people because I would have lost a lot more money than I did lose along the way if that person hadn't told me, do your own research, you know, learn the sculpts, learn about the painting, learn this, learn that. And I was like, hmm, like, why do I need to know all this? You know, they're already made, you know, that's what I'm thinking in my head. But as I go along the way, it's so important to learn about, um, air dry paints and Genesis heat set paints and, um, what is it? The, um, people spray paint, um, not, it's not spray paint, but it's called, what is it called? Uh, anyway, they use like the air guns. I don't know. I don't know what to call it, but they, it's, it's not, they're not stroking it like the other ones. <laughs> I don't know. I know what it looks like when I see it. Um, it makes the colors more even toned and everything. But I think, never mind. I'm not going to get into that. That's a whole nother level. But anyway, but yeah, you, you want to learn that. You want to learn, you know, the gauges of the needle, needles and, you know, like, um, if they're using big needles and you have big holes in your baby's head, you know. Um, I didn't know what um, pluggy hair meant when I first came in. There were so many things that I did not know. I didn't know what to look for. Um, so I just learned along the way and I'm still learning like every day. And I, it's not to say that, you know, I won't still buy a messed up baby because you just never know people. Like I say, you know, sometimes people are great photographers. Um, I basically just use my phone. I do want a nice camera, but you know, this is what I use. I really like right now I'm expecting babies and hopefully by Wednesday, I have no idea what these babies are going to look like in person. Um, I don't know their size because I'm not as familiar with the scope as some of the others. So it is going to be very interesting. But from that point, I will make a decision on how I will handle that uh, situation. I think they're going to be fine. I think they're going to be um, gorgeous. But I have other plans going on. So... Um, we will come back and talk some more Wednesday. I haven't been doing videos. I've been extremely busy, but I really missed you guys. And I hope that you enjoyed, um, this whole ramble chat. You know, feel free to leave me messages, comments, and, um, my computer is back working. So in the evenings, I will be able to come back and reply. Um, I usually start replying around... 7-ish or 8-ish Eastern Standard Time. Every now and then on my lunch breaks, I will reply to certain messages. Um, so definitely for sure. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. And um, any suggestions or any topics or any things or any particular babies that you want to see, let me know. And of course, I will try to do my best. So everybody have a great Monday. And we will talk to you soon.